Hey guys, happy Friday. I am Daniel Norton. Welcome to my studio here in New York City. Today we're going to talk about building kits. So this kind of goes along with uh, the video series that we're doing here. We're talking about kind of starting a studio, what you might need. But I'm just going to talk about something more general today versus specific items because I think this is important and something that a lot of people don't do at first. And I think it will really assist you when you want to work professionally. So what I mean is instead of having a large array of equipment that you choose each time before you go to shoot something, that you should think about building out kits. So in a kit, you will have essentially all the items you need to do this type of task. Now, there are some things that you'll need for multiple stuff. Like for instance, you always need your cameras, right? So your camera will be a kit by itself. So you might have, let's say your uh, your corporate portrait kit will include a lighting kit and your camera kit. You know, for instance, when I make these videos, I have a video kit and it's in a, like a Pelican type case. It has the, the cameras that I need. It has my Sling Studio. It has cables, including backups and chargers for all of the things that I use, including like, let's say my laptop. Like when I carry my laptop around in my normal bag, I have a charger and a cable for it. But in this kit that I use for the video, I have another one and it's here because I want to make sure that when I'm setting up to do this project, I have everything that I need. So all those things, and it will add up. I'm not going to, I'm not sugarcoating this. This is going to add up, but all those things that seem like they're nothing like extension cords, cables, uh, adapters, all the, you know, chargers, all these things you should have multiples of so that they can sit into the various kits that you want to operate out of that way. If you are doing a project, you will be pretty certain that everything that you need for that project is there, except for the specifics, right? So meaning that when I come in to shoot a video, like I'm shooting these videos now where I'm just talking to you guys, my Friday videos, so I don't need my camera to make a portrait or any of those lenses or any of that stuff, that's in a different kit. I don't need my laptop. I'm not using a laptop right now. I'm just using the video setup. So even though in this video setup kit, I have the ability to plug my laptop in and charge my cameras and stuff, I don't, I don't need it right now. All I need to make the video is fits in this kit. And if I had to grab what I needed to go shoot this type of stuff remotely, I could grab this one bag and I have it. I don't ever have to worry about, oh man, I don't have a charger for this, or I don't have my extra batteries for this, or I don't have this. Everything is in that kit. So I think it's a good idea as you start to progress. I know that when you're first starting, you might not have very specific things you're doing, but as you start to think about different projects you're doing, assembling these kits. And at first you're not gonna be like, okay, well, for corporate portraits, I use this softbox, this umbrella, this grid, and for school portraits, I use these umbrellas and this and this. And if they do overlap, you might not be like, well, I want, I want to buy a second $300 you know, uh, softbox. That's fine. I'm not saying you should do that. Like I, I have a modifier kit, right, that I take. So, so like you, you want to basically have these different kits set up. Now, when you're first starting, like when I was first starting, I didn't have that much lighting gear, so all of my lighting stuff was a single lighting kit. It had three lights, three heads really, with two power packs. I had my softbox, I had some umbrellas and grids. All that stuff fit in one case. Now, because I do a lot more different uh, projects, I have my lights as a separate kit. So I will take my, let's say my Profoto B10 kit, which includes just the B10 lights and the accessories that only fit on the B10 and those batteries and a way to charge everything up. Like that's all in that kit. Then in my B1X kit, I have those lights and those batteries and all the charges to charge that stuff up, the car adapter, et cetera. That's all in that kit. And then again, I have a kit that has like my accessories. So if I'm going to, going to go shoot a, uh, a project and I need more power, I will take the B10, the B1Xs rather, and my accessories. If I go to shoot a, a quicker portrait that I need less power, I'll just take the B10s and my accessories. And then I also have a flying kit. So I have a kit where everything fits. The kit doesn't fly. I have a kit that everything fits into a bag that can be taken on an airplane. That kit is generally my small flashes, my, my Profoto A ones, which are the, the speed lights. Sometimes I swap those out for the B10s, but the kit itself always remains the same, including chargers, adapters for light stands, my mini light stands because they're for travel. Because again, while I might bust out a mini light stand here in the studio, if I just need an extra stand, that's not really a studio stand. So I keep it in that kit, right? That's my travel kit. And if you're doing a lot of different types of projects, this will just make things really efficient. You don't want to have everything just mixed together because what you inevitably will do is forget something that you need. 
and again, this is especially true for, and we'll get into more detail as we go into, I'll make a few kits, I'll show a few kits in future videos. I just wanted to kind of touch on this to see how much this guy interests you guys, but also do you do this? Like, do you have like three different adapters for your laptop because you use it in three different ways or do you literally just have the one and it's like, if you forget it, you're in trouble? Uh, let me know. I'm curious how you guys kit things out. Uh, I'm talking about like USB cables, uh, power cables, adapters, all that stuff. How do you guys work that out? Let me know in the comments below. And if this seems like something that I should dig into deeper, if you want to see some different kits, and if you want to see some of my kits, tell me which kind. Do you want to see my portrait kit? Do you want to see my fashion kit? Let me know in the comments below. If you have not already, go ahead, subscribe, ring the bell so you get the notifications, and I'll see you next time.